Scanning. Identity confirmed. Signal acquired. Initiating transmission. Stand by. Contacting Imperial High Council. Initiating project story time. Greetings, members of the Imperial High Council. I apologize it has been some time since our last transmission, but we've had a few difficulties. A primitive Earth vessel crashed into our base of operations. Fortunately, no one was hurt. Even the driver was unharmed, although I did disintegrate him to make him an example to my neighbors as per protocol. The time was not spent idle, however. These humans have a wide variety of methods for telling their stories. Books, movies, TV shows, comics, poetry, it seems endless. And they have an interactive form called the video game, where these humans take some of the most sophisticated computers they have on Earth to make digital avatars so they can scream profanities at each other. It's a bizarre custom. That's what we're going to be looking at today, a video game called Dragon Age Origins. Dragon Age Origins is set in the medieval fantasy world of Thetis. Now a long time ago, the Tevinter Imperium, a land ruled by mages, had conquered Thetis, and a woman named Andraste led a rebellion. She was eventually captured and killed for it, but not before she had freed most of Thetis. After her death, a religious order called the Chantry was formed, and since it's based off of Andrasi's teachings, they have a bit of an anti-magic slant. Now when the Tevinter Imperium had conquered Thetis, they enslaved the elves, and during Andrasi's rebellion they were freed, but that does not mean that they were treated equally. Elves are treated as second-class citizens, and they're forced to live in a walled-off slum called the Alienage. Dragon Age Origins gives the player a lot of freedom. You can play as a man or a woman, a human, elf, or a dwarf for your race, or a warrior, rogue, or a mage for your class. And depending on the choices that you make, it determines where your character starts out as, or your origin. And the reason I gave you that backstory on the elves is because I'm going to be playing as an elvish rogue. This is the tale of Sonara. I am a strong, independent woman who don't need no man. You're getting married. Uh, uh, oh, uh, never mind then. The elves live in utter poverty, so they need to make do with what they have. And that includes having joint celebrations and arranged marriages. That's why I'm about to get married with my cousin Soros. Uh, uh, not like that. This is Thetis, not Alabama. So we find Soros and then meet up with the rest of the wedding party. And then... Let go of me! Stop, please! It's a party, isn't it? Grab a whore and have a good time. <laughs> Savor the hunt, boys. Take this little elven wench here. So young and vulnerable. Touch me and I'll gut you, you pig! Well, my cousin Shiani is not going to let this stand, so she grabs a bottle and whacks him in the head. But that's when we find out who this guy is. This is Lord Vaughn, and he's the Arl's son. Oops. His cronies take him away to tend to his wounds, but this is clearly going to be a problem, so the elves are a bit jumpy. But that's when we notice another human has entered the alienage. And he's armed. I'm sorry, but I have no intention of leaving. And I refuse yet again. Now what? She keeps her composure even when facing down an unknown and armed human. A true gift, wouldn't you say, Valendrian? I would say the world has far more use of those who know how to stay their blades. This is Duncan and he's recruiting for the Grey Wardens because he feels that an army of Darkspawn are forming in the ancient Tevinter ruins of Ostagar. I'll go into more detail about the Grey Wardens and the Darkspawn next time, but the Darkspawn are an army of monsters led by a dragon-shaped demon, and the Grey Wardens are an order of warriors sworn to stop them. Since the Grey Wardens are pledged to stop the end of the world, 
they're given quite a few liberties. As such, they're able to recruit anyone they wish. And chances are that's gonna be me, it'd be a pretty boring game otherwise. So you're looking for recruits to join your order to fight off an army of evil monsters led by a demon dragon? Well, have fun with that. I was promised a whole silver if I delivered a letter for the innkeeper. Well, Duncan doesn't want to keep us from our big day, so we head over to the wedding ceremony and I meet up with my betrothed, Nelleros. And that's when Lord Vaughn reemerges. Turns out, hitting a noble in the face is a good way to make him angry. Sorry to interrupt, Mother, but uh, <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm having a party, and uh, we're dreadfully short of female guests. <laughs> Let's take those two, the uh, one in the tight dress, and where's the bitch that bottled me? Over here, Lord Vaughn! Let me go, you stuffed shirt son of a- Well, never fear. Sonara is a trained fighter. She won't take this lying down. Oh, we're gonna have some fun. <laughs> uh, unless she gets cheap-shotted by some random noble. Sonara and the other women are taken to the palace to be part of Lord Vaughn's female guests, and that's when I wake up. Glad you've still got some fight in you. They locked us in here to wait until that bastard is ready for us. The guards kill one of us and take the other women away. Sonara is left behind because of plot. I, I mean, because she has the reputation of a fighter. Ha <laughs> Horace was right, she's a scrapper! Uh, hello? That's when Soros arrives. He has weapons given to him by the Grey Warden Duncan. He and Neleros came in to try to save us. So with our new weapons, we make our way through the guards until we meet up with Neleros. See? I told you there'd be more. Elves run in packs, like rodents. Dead human! Uh, Could've just given up, you know. I'm so sorry. Yes. Neleros. My betrothed. Is dead. We literally only spent a few minutes together. And yet he was willing to risk everything. To come save me. And for that he paid the ultimate price. We will honor you, Neleros. In the time-honored traditions of our people. Let's take everything we can carry off of his rotting corpse to settle some random merchant and never think about him again. May the Maker watch over you. After we're done looting the body of... whatever his name was, there's still the matter of the elven women. So we make our way through the guards as violently as a 1am trip to Taco Bell until we finally meet Lord Vaughn. My, my. What have we here? Don't worry. We'll make short work of these two. Quiet, you idiot! They're covered with enough blood to fill a tub. Finally, someone recognizes that a woman in a wedding dress is not one you want to mess with. Unfortunately, we are too late. He's already had his way with Shiani. This man has literally kidnapped and raped my people. He deserves to die for what he's done. But... If I just go ahead and kill the Arl's son, the elves will face massive retribution. What happens here will affect every elf in Denerim. He offers us 40 gold sovereigns to walk away. That's more money than any of us in the alienage has ever dreamed of seeing. It's a tempting offer, but when I ask about the women, he refuses to let them go. When I tell him that's non-negotiable, he attacks. Ta! I always regret talking to knife ears. Now I'll just gut your ignorant carcasses instead. Dude, we made short work of your entire palace full of armored guards. Your pantaloon brigade is not much of a threat. He's, he's dead. Tell me we did the right thing, cousin. What, stop him from murdering us when all we wanted him to do was not rape our people? Hmm, let me see. Yes! I'm not regretting it. It's just... J never mind. I, 
I'll check the back room for the others. Shiani needs you. Yes, you're right. Shiani needs me. Uh, uh just 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 hold on, Shiani. Uh, there's there's there, there's stuff to loot. Okay. All right. Uh, do, 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 uh, uh be right with you. Uh, it's a desk. No. Okay. A door. Uh, a chest. No. Damn it! Uh, uh, Shiani needs me. D don't leave me alone. Please. Please take me home. We need to get out of here before they just pin the blame on those bloody elves. Even though in this case it was literally done by a bloody elf. We return the women back to the alienage, but the guards aren't far behind us. Probably the trail of blood we left. The guards demand to know who is responsible. And Sonara knows that they'll stop at nothing to get answers. So she just steps forward, leaving Soros out of this. She will likely be executed for her crimes. She killed the Arl son and several of his men-at-arms. So Sonara just accepts her fate. But that's when Duncan has something to say. Captain, a word if you please. I hereby invoke the Grey Warden's right of conscription. I remove this woman into my custody. You're with me now. Say your goodbyes and see me when you're ready. We leave immediately. So I've been recruited into the Grey Wardens, so I have to say my goodbyes to all my friends and loved ones. Which is really hard, since I've lived here my entire life. But I saved several elves from being kidnapped and raped. I am a hero to my people. Good riddance, you were always a troublemaker. And with that, I'm off to Ostagar. Computer, save file, and end transmission. Affirmative. Processing. Terminating. Transmission. Ending. Communication. <laughs>